In this video, I'll get the blend shapes set up for mitosis, and I'll get some materials on these pieces so we can tell them apart. We're not making a photoreal picture. Rather, we're making a representation of the process, so we're going to use some colors that are easy to recognize here. First, I'll select the cell, right-click, and choose Assign New Material. I'll assign a Lambert material, which is a basic flat shader, which spreads the light evenly over the surface. I'll name this Lambert Cell Wall. And I'll color it with a red. This will be our cells. Later I'll animate the transparency, but this will work for now. Now I'll deal with the DNA. I'll select one strand, right click, choose Assign New Material, and make a Lambert. Notice I've slid the nameless slider up at the top here of the Assign New Material dialog, so I can see these samples larger. I'll put a Lambert on, and I'll name this material DNA White. And I'll make the color white by sliding the slider to the right. I'll pick the next one, right-click, choose Assign New Material, and put another Lambert on, calling this one DNA Green. And I'll click on the color and choose a green, and then mute that out a little bit so it's not quite so hard on the eyes. Now I can recognize my DNA in my cells clearly. If you'd like, you can select the blend shape object and assign the cell wall material so it's recognizable, or you can leave it alone. Now get the blend shape set up. I'm going to do some naming in here before I get too far along so I can easily select my objects. I'll select this one and call it Blend Mitosis. This is the transition shape as the cell splits. I'll select the original and call this Cell Original. Now I'm ready for a blend shape. What I typically do is to select my objects that will be blend shapes, and we can see they have a history up here in the Attribute Editor. I'll choose Edit, Delete by Type, and History. And now it's a simple object with a material and a shape note. I'll do the same on this other piece pressing Shift-Alt-D as a hotkey. I'll finish this on the DNA, so everything is a simple polygon object. So for the blend shape, what I'll do is to pick the mitosis shape, hold Shift, and select the cell. The selection order is important here. The last one, in green, is what the blend shape is applied to. I'll press F2 for animation. Choose Create Deformers and Blend Shape, or the dialog next to it. I'm going to name this blend shape node Mitosis. In here we've got some parameters if we need. How much of an envelope do we look to? And where is the origin? Where does it think its center is? Are we deleting the targets? Meaning, are we deleting the target we're making here? And would we like to add anything else on? Is there an order in the deformation if we're using multiple objects? As we're using just one, all I need to do is name it, and I'll hit Create. What it does then is it creates a new tab on the Attribute Editor called Mitosis. When I select it and slide the Blend Mitosis slider, this shape morphs into that shape. Now I'll get the clone set up for transition. I'll press Control D to duplicate my original cell, move the duplicate up, and name this duplicate Diploid Cell 1. Now I'll duplicate it again, pressing Control D and sliding it down, and it's called Diploid Cell 2 automatically. I'll pick my original, go to the Mitosis tab, and slide that Blend Mitosis up, and I'll press 4 to go to a wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. To make this Diploid Cell look like it came from this split, I'll pull it down so it's right over the end of the blend shape. I'll do the same with the other one, making sure it overlaps pretty well. We don't exactly need to snap these, but we can if we'd like, using the point snap up here on the top. For now, though, this will work. What I get when I show it in a smooth view again is I have my original, and when that mitosis slider is back at zero, I have one cell. As mitosis occurs, it splits, and that shape appears to become the next spheres. We'll animate their transparency so we can actually see it working. 
I need to get one more material in place so that I can animate the transparency correctly. I'll pick both of my diploid cells and right click, holding control to deselect the blend shape if I select accidentally, and I'll right click and choose assign new material. I'll call this one a Lambert material diploid cell. For the color then, I'll click on the color swatch and there in my palette is the red I had used. I'll select it and now it's got the same color as the others. So it'll appear to be from that cell because the materials will match. In the next video, I'll get the animation going, showing the DNA multiplying and then splitting and the mitosis occurring into the diploid cells.